as we continue our month-long campaign to get you and your kids ready to get back to school. We're talking about something that's very important, and that is sleep. Yeah, getting your kids to go to bed earlier can be so tough, as you know. Experts say that elementary school kids need 10 hours of sleep a night. High schoolers need nine to nine and a half. So, how do you transition your kids back to a good school time sleep schedule? News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa takes a look. Putting kids to sleep gets tougher as they get older, especially when it's time to head back to school. Are you paying attention to what time you're going to bed? Uh, no. No. I am, though. <laughs> like most children, 10 year old Spencer Jorgensen and 7 year old brother Ty are not happy summer vacation is ending soon. It is easy for me to go to sleep, but I don't like it when my mom wakes me up in the morning. Mom Katie Jorgensen is already thinking about what to do with the school year about to start. Before, we might think of watching a short TV show as relaxing. We're laying on the couch, we're watching a little TV, and then they go to bed. Um, now, we don't do that. Changes she made after hearing Dr. Jennifer Kanan talk about a recently created sleep program for schools in Newtown. It's becoming very apparent to most medical professionals that good sleep is critical for good health. Dr. Kanan specializes in sleep disorders in women and children at Yukon Health Sleep Disorders Center. While you sleep, you consolidate memory, you consolidate learning, and it helps prepare you for the next day. It's not a form of idleness. So sleep is very, very active, and it's critical to get a good night's sleep. She advises inviting, not demanding sleep by developing a relaxing routine about an hour before bedtime. That includes switching off electronic devices, keeping the bedroom cool and comfortable. For Ty... Reading books to make me tired. Once the weekday schedule is set, Dr. Kanan recommends not going back to that old summer routine of sleeping and getting up late over the weekend. It resets your internal clock, so it makes it very challenging to go to bed on Sunday night. How soon should parents start getting kids ready for school? If your child is waking up at 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon, they probably should start now. And maybe they're waking up at 9 or 10 during the weekdays in the summer. It's fine to start about a week or two before school. Jocelyn Momenta, News 8. It is especially tough for adolescents to get and stay on a sleep schedule. Many have what's called delayed sleep phase, going to bed late and waking up early. Lack of sleep can lead to making poor choices, too, from not doing well in school to an increased risk of depression and anxiety. You can see all of our back to school reports on the free News 8 app, also on our website, too at WTNH.com.